What's up guys, JK for Jake's got herpes, not to be confused with herpes, herpes is nasty and today I want to do a little video that I thought might be interesting for you guys and that is how to make a reptile collection video uh, the best way you can. Now I don't want to come across in this video like I'm an expert at making reptile collection videos, I haven't made one in a very long time and uh, hopefully I will make one again soon because I know those are everyone's favorite uh, videos to watch. They're definitely some of the most popular reptile videos on YouTube aside from the dumb ones that are like oh you know, alligator versus crocodile, epic fight, 2015 or something, other than dumb stuff like that. Uh, reptile collection videos are some of the most viewed videos and you want, if you're gonna make them, you want them to come across as professional, as good, so people will subscribe to your channel. You know, if they're bad, then people are gonna view it a lot, but you're not gonna get very many subs off of it. So it's important to make it the best way you can. And the only reason I know that these are important things to do is because I've made these mistakes in the past. You know, in a lot of my older collection videos, even the ones that got uh, really good views. I just did they, some of them were so bad Like I don't even know how they got views like they were just not good <laughs> But um, yeah, so I figured I would go ahead and make a video about that today now First of all, you're gonna want some sort of decent camera with some decent lighting um, Over here like my Tegu lights are off like I've seen reptile collection videos where people try and show animals like this And I know I kind of sort of did this in my like reptiles in disguise video, but that was not really a collection video, but a lot of people will try and show an animal like this. Now my Tegu lights are off because she's asleep. She's actually burrowed right now because that's what she does when she goes to sleep. But assuming that my cage was this dark all the time, you'd want some sort of light. Like I have a little light here in the corner that you want to like turn on just so you can see the enclosure, see the animal properly. And you want your camera to be somewhat decent. Like I used to use a really old like uh, digital camera, uh, which was fine for taking pictures, but it wasn't very good at taking videos and the quality wasn't that great. Uh, so that was one thing that I kind of improved on. I have a GoPro camera as well as I use my iPhone uh, camera, which I think is pretty good. It's a, a pretty good camera. Most camera phones, honestly, or camera phones, I feel like that's such an old thing to say, camera phones, but uh, uh, most like, you know, uh, phones, smartphones, that's what I'm thinking. Most smartphones have a good camera. So uh, that's uh, something you're going to want to use. If you know somebody with one, like your parents have one, they'll let you borrow it. Just use that. Like it'll it'll be good enough. You don't have to go spend a ton of money on a camera. But um, the next thing, you're going to want clean cages. Now, a lot of people make their collection videos before they clean their enclosures. Like, uh, let's see, Waffles is in here. I just cleaned his cage today because he took a huge dookie. And he's so happy to see you. He's so nice. And again, with the lighting, like it'd be better with a little bit more lighting. Oh, Waffles, you're so nice. But I cleaned his cage, so it's nice and clean. Now my ball python I have yet to clean because it wasn't that big of a priority for me because it's not actually dirty, it's just he dumped the water everywhere. If you look in here, it just looks like terrible, but I mean, he just flipped his water over. There's no like poop or anything. He didn't defecate anywhere. And again, with the lighting here, I'd want uh, my camera light on. But uh, aside from that point, uh, see, it looks kind of dirty now. A lot of the times people will just show this and be like, oh, I haven't cleaned it yet, I'm gonna clean it. But you wanna clean it before you make the video because people are automatically gonna judge you. I sorta do sometimes, like if I see a lot of dirty cages, I'm probably thinking like, yeah, this guy's probably not gonna clean his cages. Uh, but you know, that's, like I, I'm probably wrong most of the time, but that's like the first thing you think of when, when you uh, see like a bunch of, at least for me anyway, I'm probably just more cynical than you guys, but uh, like that's the first thing I think of when I see a lot of dirty cages is like, oh, does this guy or girl clean these cages very often? And if not, then I'm probably not going to subscribe or, you know, continue looking at any more videos. You want to make sure your cages are clean uh, for, for the animals and for the viewers. Like people like clean cages. They like cages that look nice. Over here, actually, um, I have my, uh, my leopard geckos in here, Jerry and Elaine. And uh, she's kind of kicked a lot of the... Uh, the substrate everywhere, the eco worth, and not only that, but I actually fed Jerry a, uh, a horned worm the other day, and I don't know if you can see that, but like that yellow kind of stain, that's like horned worm guts that went everywhere, like that's pretty gross, I need to clean that because it's it's pretty nasty, like it's probably not the worst thing, but it's it's kind of gross, so I'm, so I like that would be something I'd want to do, I'd want to clean up the substrate and make it look nice and crisp and clean, even if it's a simple setup like this, make it look, you know, just nice and nice and crisp. And um, another thing I see a lot of people do, and it drives me crazy, I don't know about, it drives me insane, is uh, a lot of people will put their camera down to open their cage. Like this is Reggie's cage. It's a little bit difficult to open. I can do it with one hand, but let's just say that uh, I couldn't. I'm a little zoomed in there, I don't know why, but let's just say I couldn't open this with one hand. 
All right, let's put it back. So actually, I can't close it with one hand, but I can open it with one. But uh, regardless, let's just say I couldn't open this cage. A lot of people will set their, their camera down like this and it'll be dark. God, that, that irritates me so much. Maybe you guys, it doesn't bother you guys as much, but to me, it just kind of bothers me. It makes me like want to stop watching. And uh, that's just something that uh, I find a little bit annoying. So if you need to like open a cage or something, make sure like it's somewhat open before you need to open it. Cause if you have to put your camera down, that's just a little bit annoying or just like edit it out or something, M make sure you do that. And another thing I just thought of is uh, make sure you like kind of locate your animal before you actually make the video. Because a lot of the times people have these really elaborate like arboreal setups for crested geckos. And a lot of the time they will be like, they'll be, like the crest gecko will be hiding and they don't know where it is and they'll put the camera down and spend a lot of time looking for it and uh, that's not uh, not one of my favorite things uh, as you guys can probably tell I don't like when people set down the camera and one other last tip I can give you is don't spend more than like a minute per animal if you spend too much time on an animal people will get bored especially if the setups are really simple like like waffles here like if you have a crazy elaborate setup and I'm not going to show you a crazy elaborate setup because I don't have any right now but if you have something you know really crazy here's one of my yellow anacondas but if you had a crazy setup and god it's dark yeah we need light in here if I was making a collection video gotta get that light but uh if uh I had a crazy elaborate setup of you know some reptile that's kind of rare like something really interesting then I might spend more time on it or if you just don't have as many animals and you want to spend more time on it then you can but if you have a lot of animals you need to get through it relatively quickly you're gonna end up with like a 30 minute plus video and that's just a long time for anybody to sit down through so hopefully you guys enjoyed this long-winded video hopefully you guys found it helpful hopefully I don't sound too much of a dick because uh, I don't mean to be that way I just want to help you guys out give you guys some tips that I've learned on making these collection videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Peace.